Mononymous hemianopia is a type of visual deficit in which a person loses the same half of their visual field in both eyes. The deficit, resulting from damage to the visual pathway posterior to the optic chiasm, is most often caused by stroke. Other possible causes include brain tumors and traumatic brain injuries. People with homonymous hemianopia lose the ability to perceive visual stimuli in one half of their visual field. Left homonymous hemianopia is most common. There are a multitude of resulting functional deficits affecting participation in occupations such as driving, reading, meal preparation, social interaction, and self-care tasks. Our client Mary develops left homonymous hemianopia after a stroke. She would like to be able to more easily browse, read text, and type on her MacBook Air laptop computer for both work and leisure activities. To begin, we ensure that Mary is seated in an ergonomic position and that she has easy access to all frequently used items, such as her cell phone and reading glasses. Placing these items on the right side, along with using our right hand and mouse, may be helpful for this client. If a client relies on vision to type accurately, a one-handed keyboard may be helpful, as people with homonymous hemianopia may have difficulty seeing the keys on the left side of a traditional keyboard without turning their head. There are several helpful adaptations that can be made for simple computer settings. You can start with placing all icons on the non-affected side, in Mary's case, the right side, as you see here. We can also move the toolbar to the right by going to System Preferences, then Dock, for position on screen, we select right. We then check the box next to magnification to increase the size visibility of the icons. Windows can also be moved to the right side of the screen. This can be done manually by resizing the window and dragging the window to the right. Or there are apps such as Cinch. With Cinch, you can drag the window to the right like this to resize the window to half of the screen. Other strategies to encourage scanning to the affected side include using a Hemi reader or a similar homemade physical guideline like this one. These tools provide a strong visual cue for the left margin, so clients will turn back to the beginning of the next line of text. The text-to-speech function can also help clients who have difficulty scanning and reading text that spans the entire screen. Text-to-speech reads aloud selected text with the press of a shortcut key. To turn on text-to-speech, go to System Preferences, then Dictation and Speech, then Text-to-Speech. Check the box next to Speak Selected Text when the key is pressed. Then select a shortcut that uses keys on the right side of the keyboard, like option 0. To select text without manually highlighting, press command A. Then use your text-to-speech shortcut. Vision loss after stroke summary. About one-third of stroke survivors experience vision loss. Use the same shortcut to turn off the text-to-speech function. These simple adaptations can help make computers accessible for clients with homonymous hemianopia.